hey what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have a block of mass m which can slide up and down without rotation between two frictionless walls is suspended with the help of two light springs and a an light inextensible cord that passes over the ideal pulley okay as you can see in the diagram okay there are two springs having force constants k1 and k2 so both the springs are not identical if the bar is pulled down slightly and released it will oscillate up and down we need to find out the time period of these oscillations so let's check out suppose uh, i have already drawn the diagram suppose the block was uh, initially uh, some distance below the natural length okay so both the springs are in stretched condition but of course both the spring will not be stretched by the same amount because these two springs are not identical so let us consider that the first spring stretches by a value x1 x01 and uh, the second spring stretches by an amount x02 okay so the first spring applies a force of k1 x01 upwards and the second one applies a force k2 x02 upwards okay so in equilibrium condition mg is being balanced by k1 x01 plus k2 x02 sorry x02 okay so this is our first equation so let us check our second equation uh, if you consider any point on the string in between the two springs okay the net force on any point will be zero okay so at any point the k1 spring pulls by an amount k1 x01 and the other spring pulls by an amount k2 x02 in the opposite direction so k1 x01 must be equal to k2 x02 our second equation sorry this one was our first equation okay fine so now what we are doing that we are pulling this block slightly downwards okay uh, and uh, after releasing it it performs simple harmonic motion at some instant of time the block reaches a uh, reaches down by a value x from its mean position okay so this line represents the mean position this line represents the natural length of the spring okay so it reaches down by an amount of x from the mean position at that instant of time the net force uh, if you draw the free body diagram of the block separately we will get to know that the forces that is being acted on the block is k1 x01 plus x1 and k2 x02 plus x2 where x1 and x2 represents the further stretching of the two springs and there is one force due to gravity and the next acceleration is upwards so f net would be k1 x01 plus x1 plus k2 x02 plus x2 minus mg so using the first equation we can just cancel out k1 x01 k2 x02 and mg so it reduces to k2 x2 okay now as you can see that these two points these two points actually moves or moves by an amount x okay so this whole string stretches by an amount 2x okay and that 2x is supplied by the further stretching of the spring let that be x1 for the first one and x2 for the second one again i am repeating that these two points on of the whole string stretches by an amount x and x so the total stretching of this string is 2x and that 2x stretching is provided by uh, the individual stretching of these two springs separately okay so this is another equation that we will be using and another one we have already discussed that k1 x1 must be equal to k2 x2 okay as we have uh, actually uh, to be more prominent we need to write k1 x01 plus x1 
equal to k2 x02 plus x2 and uh, we have already seen that k1 x01 equals to k2 x02. So, finally, it gives us k1 x1 equals to k2 x2 because initially it was already stretched by x01, it further stretches by x1. So, this x1 this term and this term gets cancelled out. So, we will be using this one. So, our final target uh, should be to write this whole thing as a function of x that is the displacement of the block. Okay. So, will this we use this two equation. So, let us see. So, we can write this as 2 k 1 x 1 using this one we can write this as 2 k 1 x 1. Okay. Now, we have that x 1 plus x 2 equals to 2 x. Okay. Now, we will try to write x 1 as a function of x. How? So, we have 2 x plus x 1 sorry 2 x equals to x 1 plus x 2 is k 1 by k 2 times x 1 from this one. Okay. So, we have 1 plus k 1 divided by k 2 x 1. Okay. So, we have x 1 equals to 2 x divided by 1 plus k 1 by k 2. Okay. Fine. So, we can use this value in this equation of f net. So, f net is equal to 2 k 1 times 2 x divided by 1 plus k 1 divided by k 2. So, the final expression becomes 4 k 1 k 2 by k 1 plus k 2 times x. Okay. So, this is our k equivalent. So, we can use this for the expression of time period that is 2 pi root over m by k equivalent. So, that would give you 2 pi root over m divided by 4 k 1 k 2 k 1 plus k 2. So, this is our final expression for the time period. They have asked for time period, right? Find the period of oscillations. Okay. So, this is our final answer. I hope you all have liked this video and if you find this video informative and helpful, please do subscribe and share it with your friends and teachers and I will see you in the next one. Good luck. Peace.